Hello, Internet. This is Spastique, joined by the uh, Wolfus Station Wagon for a return to Double Dealing Character. Greetings! This is Ozzy Aferro slash EX Porygon, and welcome. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, greeting once again. E greeting once again, everyone. I'm Deity Diz, and I will be joining for this co commentary. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait. Uh, a little Where backstory behind this video, real quick. Uh, a lot of people uh, from the last Let's Play have been notifying me of everything I did wrong, and EX Porygon, the group's uh, awesome programmer and probably one of the best Toho players, basically did a giant meta LP or Red Supreme style thing telling me everything I did wrong in the last one. So we're gonna try again with Sakya A, and you'll notice this time everything is in English, because uh, everyone's oh steering me towards the Toho Pack Center. Hands. So thank you guys for that. Ah, yeah, you oh found it. Okay, cool. Sweet. Everyone know. Everyone now notices. And this is an up. And this is an. And this is an up-to-date translation using the latest uh, from the Toa Wiki. Yeah. So we are. Are you going to be using Sakia with Needler? Yep. <laughs> Wait, Needlers. Wait. So that's yep. a good one. It's a good choice. It's actually. Can, I've yes, seen that, some. Yes. I've seen some. I've seen some clips where this can break some spell cards. Yes, guys, it's the Grunt Rebellion. Right, let's be careful. The great, crushy Grunt first. Not till later. Let's continue right, on. Let's go, let's go Spaz. Right, right. I'm actually gonna watch videos. Uh, that'll leave you guys. I can't get onwards and beyond. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. Onward, onward, onwards and me onwards. Oh wait, Yomu isn't a player. Don't worry character. too much about getting the point of collection in these opening waves. This, this opening wave is really hard to get it off of. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. And plus you. Oh. Hello there. We it, have it, 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 it takes a little bit to get a. It takes a little bit to get a feel for how many points have to be on screen. Have to be auto collected at once. So don't worry about it too much in the first couple stages. It's a little hard because there aren't enough points. Okay. Later yeah. on, it becomes easier. I tend to. Yeah. I, te I tend to destroy some of the more more big and bad enemies that drop more points, and then point a collect after I kill at least something like three and a bit of cannon fodder. That way, I can get something out of it, but it's not a big deal because you're going to more likely get oh. resources later on. Point of collect every every boss drop that you can. They always give you enough. Okay. Yes. So it's kind of like UFO in a way. Oh, which one? Uh, yes, no way. sort of. Because you're getting because you're getting the UFOs to absorb a certain number of point items. So I actually never noticed that similarity before. In practice, it's the whole, the way you go about doing it's a lot different, but in theory, it actually looks like it's pretty similar. The recording, okay. What's going on, uh, yeah, it's a live LP character. of uh, Double Dealing Character, and it's dialogue time. So this is what it's like to clean up the lake. You there! I'm a mermaid! Oh, I, I kind of got that. Uh, yep, uh, you can fry me, stick me in a stew, bread me, um... Okay, dialogue's done, boss time. Boss time. I don't want I don't wanna have I don't wanna eat clothes though. What kimonos are not, not part of it. Kimonos are not part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh they're they're organic. Are they're they? organic, but they're still not part of a balanced they breakfast. They they might they 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 are good for dinner though maybe. Uh, cotton is technically a plant material. Yep. Yep. Cotton should not be consumed. That does not sound like a very. I'll bet you cotton. could find. So I'll bet you can find some kind of organism that eats cotton. Yeah, oh. probably. But I don't think humans are made to eat cotton. I don't know. I don't know. Plus this is. Ah, and plus this that is. That was a careless death. Ooh, death. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. We make it through, man. We all believe it. Wing it and continue. Right now, everybody would be telling me I'm gonna die. Yeah. Again, you. Oh, you're another thing, Spad. If it doesn't look like it's safe to point of collect, use a bomb. Because Got the it. nature yes. of Sakura A's bombs is that you can get re, uh, you can get uh, refunded really easily. So it's a lot more effective to do that. Oh yes. 
In fact, it's so easy to get 2.0s later in the game when there are tons of items on screen at once. And later we can explain how Sakuya's bomb works. Yes. Maybe someday. In the future. Not today. Oh, yeah. if you don't how, how do you get a heart? Yeah. When uh, you get enough... Okay, you get art in one of two ways. Every seven um, life piece will be a uh, every seventh bomb piece will be a life piece instead. I think it's every yes. I don't remember. It's probably not seventh, but something like that. Uh, and six. and and in addition, the other way to get one is if you collect so many white items. I don't remember the exact number, but the, if you collect so many items that you reach a 2.0 multiplier. Um, then you will automatically get a life piece, regardless of what one it would have been. Alright. There are certain er there The way the game works is that it takes a little bit of learning to know the best spots to bomb. Uh, but with... But I, for example, sharded out a few locations where there are enough items to 2.0 if you bomb and such and such. Uh, don't worry too much about getting 2.0s, just point a click as much as you possibly can. Yeah. Oh! Now the post mid boss fairies three clusters. Uh, well, they're already clear gone. You can that take the one was a really but... careless. Okay, now I'm like playing you into the POC so much that it's actually hurting me. Don't do that. Oh, I see. So I see you did. Yeah, it's that, a risk actually there. Reward. Actually there, I would have recommended the bomb because those lasers are actually really dangerous, and I don't even try doing that. <laughs> yeah. So it's a risk versus reward. Or, or what you can do is what you did just there. Bomb. And then use that shield as your um, safety net to try and point a collect. Yes. Try doing that, especially beyond stage two, because as you you see how many bolts come on stage three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. A little explanation of Saki's bomb. Apparently, it's uh, like a border bonus for DCD. Correct. So, what was that? The first activation of the bomb raises a shield and clears a small number of bolts around you. If you are struck while the shield is up, all bolts on the screen are cleared, and you are spared from death. However, if the shield runs out, but it has a limited time, um, you are refunded three, uh, three bomb pieces out of the eight that would normally cost for one bomb. Ooh! That is... Ah! ah geez, that, is the one, that is the one attack that is stupid to point of collect. I'm yeah, sorry I didn't warn you about that. Oh, yeah, I should it's still stream lag. Like no, I should have warned him about it ahead of time because I remember that attack doing that. I honestly didn't think it would be a problem. Ooh, ooh, ooh. good dodge, good dodge. Yep. Oh. Good bomb, good bomb. You should have no trouble point of collecting every other boss stop except for that one. Yeah, I don't know why that one is annoying. Bleach! Hey, Bleach. No, it's Bleach. No, Bleach bummer is Bleach here. is not Luigi. Bleach is not Luigi. Just because his raid called name currently is Luigi means nothing. Bleach is not Luigi. Yeah. Nice job on that capture. Oh, yes. How? What hit me? Something hit me. Okay. Good question. Let's find out. Yeah, let's see here. Should I try a 2cc it or see how far I can get? I, I saw the bullet. Mm. You, it must have gone out yeah. of your field of vision somehow. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, yeah go, well, I, I didn't think you would 1cc it, to be completely honest, but I do think. I do want you to see if you can beat it with your continues this time. Yeah, I, I could have sworn I at least made it further on my first run. It's probably the point of collection. Yeah. I'm losing more lives for that than you did earlier. Because okay, um, you well. gotta use, you gotta, you just gotta use the bombs. Especially for this stage, I find it really hard to point a collect in this stage myself because you're constantly being battered, and those suicide bullets don't help. Focus there and because they get... 
Like, that's what I want to do in theory. But good, like, yes. Those... You want, when you're going up to point of collect, unfocus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good move, good move. De definitely focusing when you're in a tight spot needing to dodge, of course, will help. Right, I'm gonna say, areas. I'm gonna say, for stages, liberally bomb when there are a lot of items around. Uh, for mm -hmm. bosses, just do what you normally do. Try not to bomb unless you have to. You're pretty good about that. Kagro doesn't have that murderous non spell card on this difficulty, so you're good. Yeah, and I even remember you mentioning that this seems like a carbon copy of the Imperishable Knights stage. Oh, it ran out before you, before you yep. went up. Yeah, oh, dang. In a sense, I can kind of agree that it is a carbon copy, but then again, it seemed a little more fast-paced in Imperishable Night. That is because you were fighting a boss when you were Zod. Yeah, well, even in the stage and all of that, it seemed a little bit more fast-paced, but oh well. It might have been faster, matter. but it's definitely the same animation. Yeah, yeah something I wanted to talk about. Mm. The background. What I meant last time about the camera work is you'll notice the uh, the camera's dipping and swaying throughout this whole, this whole thing. You sure it doesn't do that in the other games because it does it a little bit. Zoom's like done. Zoom's done that in games before for sure. Plenty. There's yes. your 2.0, by the way. Nice. And then a bomb for life. a 2.0 is always worth it because a, yes. a 2.0 gives you one third of a life. Especially a Sakia A bomb, which can be redundant. All right, good. Once the bomb, once that shield is up, just dodge as normal and hope you don't get hit. It's a really mm -hmm. nice safety end. Yes. Can Spaz make it? That is the Nope. And I lost the bomb piece too, apparently. Ah. Uh. A spell card. Uh, Oh, you got that. Oh, don't don't worry. If you're if the bomb piece is out of reach, don't try and grab it. That's not worth yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Sometimes that happens when you point and collect. Don't worry about it. Just the act of point and collecting at all is sometimes good because it's one more towards a life piece. If it's a life I, piece, I recommend you bomb for it. Yeah, I prioritize gaining lives over bombs, so I'm willing to miss at least one, but one bomb piece and all of that because I can obviously get more. But lives are more hard and difficult to get, so I have to get those. My life for I. Uh, this one. What? What TD? You give your he said my life for ire. Will you give your life for ire for a young Ire is the best place ire ever. <laughs> Or you got like top 10 rating on Zagats. Fire is the best place to live, despite the yeah. fact that it's uh, overrun with Zerg. Yeah, Ka Kagero, Kagero. Kagero may be random, but I do notice that a lot of the bullets here, they vary in their intensity certain, in certain nope. waves. Definitely. Nice job in the last one. Difficult. Nice job in the yeah. last one. Thank you. I, I saw myself running into that one. That was the classic psychological moment of don't look at yep. where you don't want to go. It, it, in in, in total, you do not want to look at the bullets. Yes. Because then you move into them. You want to look at the gaps between the bullets. And it's something that players like even myself still fall pretty to. In fact, that's yeah. actually a concept uh, from uh, racing, actually. There's a thing called a skid car, and uh, while you're training to race, they teach you how to get out of a skid by showing you where not to look. And the, the whole thing they teach ah. you is, like, look at where you want to go as opposed to where you don't want to go. I also heard heard the concept come up in uh, when playing uh, combat flight simulator games. Particularly when it comes to avoiding ramming into your target after you try to shoot at them. 
when you try or ah. avoiding ramming into somebody when you're trying to avoid them uh, look away from them otherwise you're gonna ram them yeah ba basically another way is also to not fear the Dom Maku because I know I've died from getting spooked and panicking and it's really kind of a reflex that's hard to not do but yeah but if you do not get spooked then yeah it helps mm. it... yeah light piece I also really love the stage for music it's very immersive and I think it fits very it's well. It's a really even. nice mood in the beginning. <laughs> even though you don't, you mentioned you don't know where the crap this is in Ginso Kyo EX. I don't know, they don't really say where this is, do they? I think it's high above the clouds. Again, it's another, yeah. another callback. It's, uh, we're so. uh, going back to uh, PCB with this, apparently. Except the oh, thing I guess the so. Like, except the theme isn't as foreboding. Yeah, well, this and by the way, nice job does. on Yatsuhashi's second attack. That's not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just noticed you go to the bottom of the screen to avoid that. Mm -hmm. It's and foreboding, you, but it's not as apocalyptic. Well, it, it 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 begs for debate there, but anyway, I think it's very atmospheric, and it definitely fits the overall theme. And from what I can tell, the the Shining Needle Castle is located somewhere near Yokai Mountain, but I'm not quite sure on that because we haven't actually seen it. But then again, if you see things like the official Toho mangas, you'll get some of the ideas of the characters' appearance and effects. That stage went pretty well. You're doing exactly what you should be doing. Oh yes. Point yeah, collecting as often as possible, bombing when things get too hairy, and getting more items. Profit. Funny you say hairy. The previous boss, oh. of course. Oh. Okay. Oh. Right now she's giving me trouble. No. Oh boy. That is very dense. Yeah. You can redirect it, but it, it, there's little point in doing it. I'm trying. Actually, for some attacks, and especially Ben Ben's mid-boss phase in the alternate, it's easier to redirect things, but this, yeah. A boss battle. There goes all If you're gonna the lose the refund boss pieces, I would just say bomb again, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No tappers. Those are tappers. All right. I am much more clear now. Hmm? All right. We are doing a live LP, and while Spaz is playing double dealing character, a real run or attempt at it. It is a difficult game, and runs can easily be thrown off. Thankfully, it gives you a lot of resources to continue going forward. Now, this one isn't so bad. It, that one's a little with. weird to do. It's a little weird. I'm still not 100% sure how the spirits move. It's a bit unpredictable, so that's why I stay as far away and try to get the spirits near the top of the screen to move, and that way I don't have to deal with them. Especially with fast characters, if I can weave through them in time, then I can do well on that. If I can't, then I'm boned. This one isn't so bad, actually, because I can it's read... Uh, I, hate, I don't like this one. Uh, on harder difficulties, this is impossible. <laughs> nice job on that. I was going to say bomb, but you managed to do it. Wow, we're all Yeah, ready. nice. You captured it. You've gotten farther than you were last time already. Yep. And Poe Kirby, it's hard to not fear Don Maku, but if you do it, it actually does help. Because I remember when I first started playing Toho, I was scared. I was. That's a point of like these. They're they're not usually yeah. worth it. Yeah. 
This is a very unique level, though. I do like the style of it. Especially if I start out doing a barrel roll. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I noticed the first time I played. I'm stuck up here. One moment. In the background. I noticed. I noticed that. Yeah, you could try and point out coin to collect these for massive points, but I wouldn't try to because they're really hard to. It's really hard to get back down after you're done. But yeah. I thought you managed to get it. Oh wow, it's two rings. <laughs> That's a huge difference from easy to normal, damn. But yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Hardened Lunatic EX. Hardened Lunatic. Oh, but this is normal. Easy well, on only one ring. Well, well, believe it or not, I saw a Lunatic run of this game, and the person who was doing the run was killing all the fairies before they fired off the oh, rings. yeah. I know you can do that. And so, I need to do that. Yeah, it's not easy, and stage four is, is really all about that on Lunatic, too. This mid-boss card is oh. very hard. I don't recommend trying it. Yeah, I, I do not like this mid-boss card, either. I can do it, but it's just obnoxious. Guys, you ever get tired of proving me wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, if I fail the uh, the bomb thing, does it also destroy the green items on screen? Bomb items, I mean? Bomb pieces? No. No. What do you mean by fail? Like, if I uh, get hit and... Uh, no, it collects them all again. Okay. It, yeah, all the items on the screen will come to you as any other point item. That's why they're vanishing. You're being collected during the uh, animation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys. Yeah. Um, chat. Yeah, you expect me to keep an eye on the chat while I'm looking at the other chat? Crap. Oh, crap. I was I was hoping people were using the Ustream chat. I apologize. All right, we're at stage now. Because Tavra said something because I didn't look at the because I didn't look at the list of people in the room because I'm looking at this. I honestly don't know what to say. Hold on. This is being recorded live, you know. I know. I'm fine. Yeah. Done. Okay. Alrighty, so. Dang it. And as right. the X mentioned, you it's were surprisingly not good at the screen flips. I was surprised. Yeah. Nice job, oh. Spaz. You're doing really well here. Just be wary of the final boss and you get you getting bigger card. Oh gosh. Oh yes, that's gonna be a lot of you have to. That is that is Yeah, that is by far one of the worst cards any other player character, Marissa and Saki has. I'm also to gonna deal give with. you a, I'm also gonna give you a bit of advice, I'll remind you of it again when we get there. Do not attempt to go through the kunai. It will not work. It may look like it's gonna work, but it will not. Oh yeah. Your hitbox is larger than your sprite this time. Kinda stupid, but hey, hey that's, that's how it works. Mm. In any case, I think Reimu has it really easy for some of these micro-dodging yeah. segments. Yes. In fact, the... Floor movement the speed also helps. Yeah. Reimu A, the go hey attack, or as I like to put it, the LE scythe shot type. It's really, it's, it can be broken because when you spawn the uh, go hey right near a boss and it gets stuck in it, it does massive damage. Oh yeah, and also I but, noticed uh, when playing it on a uh, on one run I did earlier that it actually works great on groups. Oh yes. Can lock Ooh, down you didn't move back into that. You're really good at this last card. Yeah, man. You're better than me. Because it's probably because you don't lose your cool when the screen flips like most other people tend to. Eh, I'm guilty of that. For that one, I'm the one uh, saying not to fear the Namaku. The controls took me a little while to figure this out. Oh, I was gonna say the controls are. It took me a little while to figure. Yeah, that's the thing. 
It took you a little while, took me a little while to figure this out, but you want to don't let the screen psych you out and continue to move in the same direction you were when the screen started flipping. That's what you have to do. Most people panic and like, oh, what do I do? What, what's the right control? Dead. Yeah, pretty much, actually. That's what got me the first time. Bell practice is a godsend there, guys. You gotta try it out. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Bomb this first segment if you didn't already. All right. Good, because it gives you a 2.0. Oh, it should give you a 2.0. Maybe it was a little early to bomb. I don't know. Yeah, man. Nice job there with that micro dodge. You had to bomb, but still. Yeah, very good. Well, I had to continue Small now. Small one's big ah. ambition. Ran out Dang of it. juice. Oh well, made it to the sixth stage at least. Oh, you're out of continues? Ah, that's yep. too bad. That's still a that's still a huge improvement from before. Alrighty, let's give this one more oh. try in a second. Uh, if only. Way. You could probably be easy with relative ease now, actually. Oh, yeah. Are you ending? So are you going to start this again with Reimu and Ellie's scythe? Yep. <laughs> Right. right. Well, Go for it. Attempt, no attempt number two. You actually did really well in the later portion of the stage there, but you did terrible in the beginning. You made one too many mistakes, and that's what cost you, I think, there. You know, before you got into a rhythm of knowing when to bomb and when not to, and learning that that was a great way to collect items, I think if you try again, you might get even, you'll probably get even farther than that. But yeah, try definitely try, 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 try. That's all. That's the big best uh, piece of advice I can offer anyone trying to uh, get good at these games. Let's have super practice. All right. Anyway, gonna stop recording here and on to the next one. <laughs>